Hi, Hello. I'm Lauren, nurse practitioner. Today we're doing hysteroscopy. What a hysteroscopy is, is a camera guided into your uterus by some water. So you're going to feel water running, that's normal, it's just normal saline. And that's going to open up your uterus and the camera is going to help us be able to visualize inside your uterus anything that would prevent a baby from being able to implant to the lining. So we're looking for polyps, fibroids, infection, anything that could potentially prevent a baby from as far as discomfort, you really shouldn't have too much discomfort. You're definitely going to feel a sensation of something there, so maybe some pressure. Depending on which way your uterus is tilted, you might feel some extra pressure because the camera itself is straight, it's not super bendable, so you might feel the pressure of the camera feel bending. If at any point you're uncomfortable, just let me know, and we can adjust or we can stop as needed. I will definitely have the results for you today as we are looking real time. You'll be able to follow along by watching the TV behind me, and I'll explain everything that we're doing as we go along. First, I'm going to have you scooch down all the way to the end of the exam table so that your bottom is hanging off. I'm just going to get my gloves on. And the first part is just inserting the speculum like you do at the normal OBGYN exam. So when you're at the end of the table, you're just going to drop your knees down to the side. You're going to feel my hand touch your leg. You're going to feel my hand slide down. You're going to feel pressure with my fingers, and then you're going to feel pressure with the speculum. A little bit more pressure here as we locate your cervix. Now we're going to look for sources of infection that could potentially go up inside your uterus and prevent the baby from implanting. So we're just going to do a little swab at your cervix. You're going to feel a little touch. The next thing that we're going to do is just clean your cervix so that way we don't introduce any bacteria from the outside into your, your uterus. If you have any brown spotting later, it's most likely just from this beta dye. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is just get the machine ready here. Opening right there is the right fallopian tube opening. And down there is the opening to the left fallopian tube. I don't see anything abnormal in the sense of anything that would prevent the baby from implanting. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So we're going to remove the speculum. You might feel some water draining down. And then we'll give you a pad to use for the rest of the day in case you have any water leakage. You can go ahead and slide back. And that's it.